Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I just realized, honestly, I felt I should start um, recording here that HK-47, with, with, with some of his best gear, has 29 um, um, armor class, com compared to Timbo X that I've been building for, um, you know, just to be a total badass, has only 26, and Joe Lee has 24. So, I just found that to be ho ho pretty pretty darn hilarious <laughs> oh I sounded like like death there oh crap what did I just do oh caps lock that was interesting and kind of spooky at the same time anchorhead tradesman you there we go it's too bad that it doesn't actually work that way I have au authorization you fucko all right I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file too. Good luck out there. You'll need it. Are you threatening me? Oh, this woman. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife hopes he enjoys the anniversary gift. You're a bitch. Anniversary gift, what are you talking about? To remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that, of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. You sound like you're planning on killing him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. If he's smart, but he's not smart. <sighs> I'm sure you do. Mmm. I really hate that bitch. Um, there's a bajillion things that I could say, but you know, that's exactly why I don't. Well, actually, you know, that's exactly why I, I have the girlfriend that I have right now, because she wouldn't do dumb shit like that, and she's not maximum cray cray. Did I just say cray cray? I'm gonna go kill myself. Anyone out there? <laughs> I seem to be uh doomed. 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 Anyway. Hold on there. Basically, we get to go Hold like this. There. Oh fuck you. I shoot you. Hey there. Thanks for stopping. I appreciate <laughs> it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Wasn't looking good. Oh, Red Bull. You knew to anchor head? Could you maybe help? <laughs> you're you're Tannis, right? Your wife says oh, hi. She does. She's decided I finally worn out my welcome, and she's fixed my droids to do her dirty work. Philandering ways coming back to haunt him, I'll wager. I triggered some sort of. <laughs> she probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Why would she do this? About me not following her archaic rules for proper conduct in a marriage. I swear, I never saw this coming. So, I actually want, want want to find out if this dude cheated on her or something. And if he did, I'm just gonna kill him because no one should hey, ever fucking cheat. I'm the victim here. I'm not sure how divorce works where you're from, but this is a little extreme. To no. What do you want me to the wife put to a go do? In my battle droids. She knew I wouldn't know how to. Maybe we could program them to tap dance. I love a good tap. Dance. <laughs> this isn't funny. Come on. <laughs> Commentary. I say we blast the meat bag and save you the trouble, master. What's with all the droids lately? Did get to you too? <laughs> Negative. I just don't like organic meat bags. Except for the master, of course. Uh, I'd, uh, <laughs> really appreciate... Alright. I'll try and help just you out. Access... Oh, and... Alright. But, like I said, if if it turns out that this dude is is a random cheater, Having I'm just gonna kill him. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about him actually being a cheater, so... We're just gonna do automatic repair. Auto repair this one here, too. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? Okay, so it's basically it's the same message. But, yeah. Cheaters never prosper. 
And as a matter of fact, they should all die in fiery doom. They should anyway. I've been cheated on before and it, it, dude, it sucks. It sucks bad. Which is why I like to set them all on fire. Having uh, fun on the dunes. All right, you're free to go. What up, Tannis? Unpleasant. You never asked me for anything, but I can. St uh, <laughs> that will be Thanks fine. Again. Thank you. I doubt any of those up tech. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. <laughs> uh oh. I don't even know about that guy. And, yep. We didn't do anything good there. We didn't do anything bad there, apparently, so. Welp. Alright. There's a corpse over here. What the hell? Oh, no. It's an ambush. Oh, shit. Small group of sand people. Attack you. Elite warriors. Well, I'll show you, you, um, elite warriors. How do you like that insanity, you little shit? Holy warrior? Wow, that's not suggestive at all. Of terrorism. Hit, hit, hit him with the plague. <laughs> Double insanity. Ouch. Feel free to burn, baby. Their remains do not con concern me. I doubt that they would really drop anything good, but... Alright, let's check this corpse. Parts and credits. Parts and credits. You can never go wrong with parts and credits. There we go. Yeah, I think playing as a Jedi Guardian is honestly one of the more fun ways to actually play through it. I mean... Because pretty much if you meet something, you just beat the, you just beat the crap out of them. But Jedi Consular is definitely maximum hard mode. Um, I I say that because the uh, Jedi Consular gets 6, six HP and then 10 Force Points. So you pretty much are pretty much already playing you know, maximum hard mode. So I think on my KOTOR playthrough, I'm going to be a, probably be a consular and do a force only playthrough. I don't know, like, it's, it'd be Guardian, it'd be a hand-to-hand, -hand or Sentinel, I mean, I, I could do a, potentially do a, you know, a blaster only playthrough, which would be honestly pretty entertaining, because I don't know anyone who's actually done a blaster playthrough of KOTOR 2. Oh, an average frag mine. And we know how to deal with these. We just freaking step on them. Boing! Seven damage. Ha 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 Don't let me die under here, please! Alright, I'm down. I can't get out! Three, two, what? One. What? Oh, God. You stupid pigs. Squee! <laughs> Squee! <laughs> Why is that so funny? Maybe you pay 500 credits. You die otherwise. And perhaps I could just persuade you not to do this? Force persuade. If you, you you want to let me go. You got what you came for. We, we got what, what we wanted. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, Kirk, they didn't give us anything. Shut up. We got what we what we wanted. Oh, <laughs> stupid pigs. Oh, jeez. I love Gamorians. They're so... They're so funny. Alright, well, whatever. Looks like there's some more of those sand people down there. Alright, let's, let's do this the old-fashioned way. Get some... Welcome to Planet Jedi Guardian, where we're gonna rock your team. I see that you require additional insanity. 
Insanity's OP. Nerf, please. <laughs> this is what like makes playing playing as as Jedi so ridiculously fun. <laughs> come on now, come on. Insanity. No, now that I think about it, I'm definitely going to be playing as as a Jedi counselor. Just just for the simple fact that uh, it's so fun. Like using force powers is so ridiculously fun. All right, let's take the Goffy sticks. Bada bing! Kalo Nord's battle armor. The armor that just keeps on giving. Okay. Now, the only way that I've found to actually make this stuff work is to put on sand, sand people clothing on all of your human party members. That's literally the only way that I've found to actually make it uh, work. Um, mainly because uh, putting it on everybody it, um, it ensures that uh, everyone is actually, you know, covered. And if, if they're not covered, then uh, they could see through it potentially, but... I don't know. I don't know. Average plasma mines. We... I don't think that, that our uh, demolition skill is high enough to actually, you know, even even deal with that. So... We'll do what we've got to do. And you need... Healing it up, baby! What? There's a bunch of playthroughs that I could do for KOTOR too. Like, I could do, like... A non-lightsaber playthrough. <laughs> like, like, vibroblades and short swords. I don't know. I'm got a, I got like a bunch of good um, ideas, but eh. I think like light side blaster playthrough would just be ridiculously fun. We're stuck on a bantha. I'm stuck on a bantha. No way, dude. Okay, I'm gonna get unstuck and I'm gonna start up a, a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. It's been Timbo X.